on my way to the pad. Rolling down this goofy road. Um, it's kind of neat. You go by a big old cement plant that lets y'all tag along. Talk about something I read and got into a little bit with the folks on the Trucker's Coach page on Facebook. Which it's not a bad page to be a part of. Um, folks ask questions and some guys some answers. One question that was asked kind of kind of got It's, uh, the guy asked if it was okay that when you're backing into a spot in the truck stop, if it's okay to bump the trailer behind you. Well, I was uh, quite shocked to even see that that was a question. I've never been bumped at a truck stop like that. But apparently it is a thing. So my reply was no. It's not word for word because I'm remember it's not from here right now. Basically, no, if you bump into my trailer. back into my trailer, you're going to damage it. That's just the way it is. It's, it's not made to bump docks because that's not what we do with it. <laughs> so, a gentleman called me an ass and said that trailers, they'd be no different than a trailer bumping docks. Well, no, I'm in the truck, and you could potentially knock me out of bed and the dog out of bed. Definitely going to scare the hell out of me. And uh, if you don't know how pneumatic trailers work, there's a pipe that goes on out the bottom. And if you hit that, you're going to screw up the whole works. <laughs> uh, it, it intrudes out past the bumper bit. That's just the way they work. And uh, you hit that, you're going to mess up a lot of stuff. It uh, essentially connects to each pod and then it connects to the, uh, the hotline, which is a loop. So, You would cause quite a bit of damage to my truck and trailer. And so no, that's not okay. So this dude called me an ass. It's fine. Whatever. If you bought my trailer, yeah, I'm probably gonna be an ass. I'll be asleep and I'll be not happy. But generally, I try to not. I try to not park in a situation where the, the trailer is susceptible to that. Anyway, but you have no right to touch my trailer in any form. The whole thing is aluminum. My whole trailer is aluminum. Like I said, it's not designed to bump dogs. You touch it, you're bending or breaking something. And then you're gonna put me out of work. So there's no scenario where that's okay. Now granted, you bump into me and you 
wake me up. But there's no reason where that, that needs to happen. Most of you have these stickers on your mirrors. It says gold. Get out and look. I practice get out and look. If I am not sure, I jump out of the truck. I don't care if it's in traffic, on the highway. If I, It don't matter where I'm at. If I'm not sure of my surroundings and I can't see, I jump out of my truck. And make darn sure that I ain't running into nothing. Because it's gonna cause you hit something, it causes problems for you, for the person you hit, for your boss, for your company. It's not okay to hit somebody's truck or trailer. It's just not. Not all of us work for a big company. My truck goes out of service, the trailer goes out of service. I don't have any work. I can't work. Uh, some guys are a one truck operation or a two truck operation or whatever bump into them because maybe you hit the lights, break the lights, bust the ground somewhere or who knows. You hit the light the wrong way and cause all kinds of stupid problems. You never know. So no, it's not okay to bump trucks. It's just not. It's no different than bumping into a car. If you back into a car, well, guess what? Yeah, the police are going to get called out. You're going to be in trouble. Like, well, whatever. You bump dogs. That is what he said, you bump dogs. But obviously, the guy's probably not even a driver. And he pretty much argued with everybody that, that said, uh, no, that's not okay. Listen, I understand. Accidents happen. They do. No one's perfect. We're all gonna screw up. This is not this is a ten percent grade upgrade with the 90 degree turn. It's a little gnarly. Um, stuff happens, you're gonna bump into stuff. It's what it is. Own it. <laughs> Own it. I've been at a truck stop where some idiot hit somebody. They take off. Um, a few weeks ago, I was at the TA. Somebody ripped the whole, ripped, ripped the whole hood off a truck. He clipped it with the back bumper or something. I'm not entirely sure. But he went to take off. Luckily, there was enough people around with CBs. They uh, they blocked the entrances. They got the guy to go back. But that shouldn't happen. You screw up, own it. Running's worse than than owning it. Maybe you get away with it. I can tell you, but uh. Karma's a bitch. She gonna get you. Karma's gonna get hers. But, uh, don't uh, don't bump trailers on purpose. Hitting the back of somebody's trailer is not to know. <laughs> it's not how you figure out when you're stopping. It's okay to get out of your truck and look 1,000 times in 10 minutes. Yeah, you're going to have your idiots that be like, oh, look at that guy. Gives a shit. I don't care. I don't care. It takes me two hours to back into a spot. And sometimes you're tired and you just can't back up. I'll jump out 100 times. I don't care. Does that make me a bad driver? No. 
are. I'm just freaking really tired. <laughs> Nobody's brain functions right when you're tired. Get out and look, folks. Don't hit other people's crap. And if you do, own up to it. Talk to you later.